Oh, you could buy copium refill bars, refill tanks, <clears throat> clown gun ammo. Okay. And then what does this give me if I spend the... I don't like, I don't like gambling. <laughs> All right, let's keep hugging a wall, I guess. Okay, so this goes back here. <gasps> Ooh, what the fuck was that? Did I seriously get jump scared by a little goofy? So how is your family? Divorced. Yikes. Oh, sorry to hear that. So what kind of job are you doing here? Well, I try to do some public writing. Holy I, I thought things only come out at night. Sakes. <gasps> okay. I give this guy a lot of shit for missing his shots. I discharge. Fahrenheit 0451. That's literally the achievement. <laughs> oh my god. That's fucking funny. I mean, Grant's the name of the book, but the book is Fahrenheit 451, but specifically it says Fahrenheit 0451. What is going on? Okay. We're going for it, baby. We're going. We're going! I feel like we've got a good system now. So far, so good. We haven't noticed anything that's super... Well... I don't know. If there's something else I haven't caught on to yet... <laughs> What the fuck was that? A door just fucking popped open? Why would you do boop, 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 boop. Now let's head inside. Oh, oh, fucking... Jesus fucking Christ, dude! What the fuck? This is back in the... This is the wine. 100%. What the? Count our ways of fucking gold. Awesome. Is there an easy way to get back? Oh, there might be. There might be. Can I jump this? You know I'm gonna. Shit! Thank you, Shuffle. I think this is good. I think we're Gucci. I think we're Gucci. <laughs> we're not. Uh, or did he just move cells on me? No, he's fucking missing. Like 100% missing. Okay, well. At least we found it. That's what we call an anomaly. Dude likes using that fucking knocking noise and I don't like it. Why? I'll tell you why. That's a... Get a little creepily close to a different thing. Although I think that's like a Nordic symbol. I think these are all Nordic symbols. Oh, fucking shit! What the fuck was that? This over here. 
Oops, nothing there. One of those weird walls again. They can go all the way around. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? Oh god! What's over here? Oh, fuck me in the dick! Oh, double fuck me in the dick. Unassuming jug. Huge scare. <laughs> so there are four clips for that. <laughs> there was always bugs. Okay, cool, cool. I, I'm like, I've seen, I know I've seen them before, but I'm like, has it been there every time? Fuck if I know. 15, okay. <gasps> okay, listen. It's one thing when you're gonna fucking jump scare me when Yeah, it really doesn't explain what your current objective is anywhere either. Oh, fuck. I was like, they're getting closer together, aren't they? All right, fuckhead, let's do it. Oh, fuck. Funny shuffle. <laughs> All right, I, we made it. We made it back to this spot at least. Maybe they don't venture this far out. I... The timing. I'm hitting the wrong... Goddamn... Holy shit. Oh, fuck me! So I'm not the beggar? What am I doing? Oh, there's a hole in the fucking wall. What? <laughs> Please don't jump scare me. Thank you. Oh, please don't jump scare me. Oh, please, please don't jump scare me. Fantastic timing on the door slam, by the way. Oh, this feels like the intro to, um, was it You Must? No, it was locked up. I don't know what the fuck that was. Tea dog is way better. Not as sweet as what you said. More of a beer beer than a fruit beer. Yes. I think that is a fair... Oh, fuck! I'm alive. Mother, I have no health, but um, I'm alive. I'm down. And we're running. <laughs> yeah, we're running. What? I'm dropping that off. Hold on. Looking I will come. We're safe, right? On your feet. Gotcha. Hey guys, you doing okay over there? No. <laughs> okay. Uh -oh. We're In three. Oh shit! It's Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. What up, everybody? Welcome, man. Hope you're all doing fantastic. I'm. Wearing a backwards hat and a pink shirt with Britney Spears on it that says fight fate and fight God. I have a question for the God. Why? Oh my. <laughs> why? <laughs> I don't know why. You're gonna tell me. But uh hope you're all doing well. I got fucking roasted outside today. A friend of mine was uh, having a fundraiser today for Alzheimer's, and uh, me and JRS Fathom were part of uh, a team playing cornhole. We ended up in second place. 
um the people we lost to were incredible and they actually play on a league which is really chill i feel you about the heat been like that recently but today it was n nicely colder oh that's nice uh it was like 94 95 almost all day today and uh after there thank you and after there we ended up back at my in-laws house and i was like i think i have a bathing suit over there to jump in their pool and uh was not there and as opposed to driving back here to grab one to go back uh i just jumped into my shorts i was like fuck it i needed it so bad uh but it felt good got a fan over here it's blowing on me but yeah this i'm definitely kind of like uh <laughs> You look like a lobster head. Thanks. I figured I'd wear pink so it didn't look as bad. But like you really can't tell in the lighting. Like once I go back here, and you're like, oh yeah, look how red that face is. <laughs> Don't blame me. I'd be like, forget this. Yeah, for real. And how are you doing, Meg? Hope all is well. Oh, I actually drink some more water. Love the flute part um yeah i'm not gonna be um doing any voluntary spins obviously if anyone resubs or starts a sub at tier one tier two or tier three i'll do the spins um but i don't want to give myself the spins um more than likely no alcohol either it can be a nice and chill night playing some alan wake I'm okay with Disneyland for a bit, but wasn't really feeling it. Uh-oh. Was just like rough, like just dumb people there, like long lines, like what's going on? Yeah, I swear it's about 75 or something around here, or at least it feels that way. That's awesome. It's hot, fair enough. <laughs> that could, I could see where that's a problem. Yeah, I think it's, um, I think it got down into the 80s now. Maybe the high 70s. Uh, let me see. Yeah, it's 76 right now. With a three mile per hour wind and humidity of 73%. Woof. I'm bad. I'm a baddest motherfucker in the world. Ah, oh, fuck. Spins, you say? Me and my big fucking mouth. Yeah, it's a new thing I started up. So obviously it's still like every, uh... Jesus. Like every three, um... Every every three subs, you know, over there, it still counts. But um, I'm adding a bit of. Well, you should have waited. I would have said something. <laughs> Thank you. Holy fuck! So, taste my Rizzo eight bit design wrestling and Magic Madsen, Insane Dan, and Erisus. I haven't seen Erisus in a while. That's a name oh um so every th every three is a spin um if there is a resub um or a new sub those are instant spins so you resubbing for how long again was that 16 months holy shit thank you um that is a spin so i will do that spin uh gifted subs and prime subs count but they're not automatic and that's just to kind of get like a little more incentive for people that are coming in and renewing every month uh like yourself so we will do a spin me and my big fucking mouth Ooh, the pineapple habanero sick that was the new one we got and we tried for the first time uh Last stream. Dun, 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 dun. Here it is. This album fucking rules. All right, so that is only one point off, so it'll be down to 45. Perfect, it actually worked. Welcome in, Taste My Rizzo. Yeah, Meg is, uh, Meg something else. Gifting subs and making me eat hot sauce. <laughs> Click and catch, Jesus. Ooh. So, uh, Rizzo, what, uh, what kind of games do you like to play? Enjoy my sauce? Thanks. I will. This is the Burks 
Hot sauce, the pineapple habanero. Um, I'm sure you can imagine what's in it, but I'll read it anyways. The ingredient list is pineapple, sweet Vidalia onion, red bell pepper, red habanero pepper, distilled vinegar, and sea salt. Okay, pineapple sounds good. Yeah, pineapple and then habanero, so. All right, let me do another little mix, 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 mix. Gotta make sure everything is equal throughout. I want flavor and I do want the heat. Cause you know, otherwise that's just really silly. Uh, cheers every, oh, oh, it's very uh, viscous. Sliding down the edge of the, uh, the bottle of neck. Okay, enough, cheers. Ah. Speed! Ah! Oh my god. The pineapple is so sweet up front. It's like, this is nice. And then it just hits the back of your throat and it's like, death. Ugh. Let's play a bunch of older consoles like GameCube and Wii. Oh, yes, I am a CEO. XOX. Oh, Crimothy Jones. Yeah, we love Crims. We love Crims. Yes. Um,. I was part of the second wave of people that were added to the CEOs. Um, thanks to people like Crimothy and uh, Sass and Eris, all the ghoul friends. Oh. Uh. And yeah, the old games are awesome. I actually, um, I don't have a GameCube or a Wii, but I do have over here, um, I have a PlayStation 1, a Nintendo 64, a Sega Genesis, and then I have an Xbox 360 um, in my bedroom that we use as like a DVD player. But um, I have games for all those consoles in like this closet over here. Just tons of them. Most of them I played and beat a long time ago. But someday I'll figure out how um, those like capture cards work and maybe we'll hook up. Maybe we'll hook up one of these things up to it. That would be pretty cool. Ugh. <sighs> Holy shit. Ugh. <sighs> okay, yeah. So we actually have a, um, we have a heat advisory coming up. Um, uh, what does it say here? Heat advisory now in effect from 8 a.m. Monday to 8 p.m. Wednesday. Excessive heat watch. Oh wait, excessive heat watch is canceled? Huh? So is it or isn't it? I'm confused. I wonder if our, I wonder if the weather pattern changed. No, it's still gonna be pretty hot. Not as hot as initially. Uh, Monday, so tomorrow is supposed to hit a high of 91, Tuesday high 94, Wednesday high 91, but the humidity is like, oh yeah, it's, it's going to be up there. It's pretty rough. Tuesday, yeah, high 80s, low 90s for humidity. Wednesday, the 80s and 70s for humidity. So I think it has, it's apparently cooled off a bit compared to what it was going to be. So maybe that's why they canceled it. Still have my GameCube have a 64. Oh, Game, Game Boy Classic? Uh, oh, a DS, Wii U, and a DC that doesn't work. Catch cards are pretty easy. You totally should. All right. I'll have to look into it. Uh, Prime Day's coming up, too, so I'm sure there'll be some deals there. Oh, Game Boy Color. Okay. Okay. I never, um, I had a Game Boy Advance for a hot minute, but the one I played the most was, um, the game, I had a Game Boy Pocket. I played the shit out of that thing. <laughs> so true. Played the heck out of Pikmin. Oh, Pikmin. Yeah. I remember GameCube, the game I played more than anything else in my friend's house was, uh, Time Splitters 2. Played the shit out of that game. Ba, 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 da. All right, so um, 
so we don't have uh, I don't have a schedule for next week yet um, maybe I'll start working on it tonight if not definitely tomorrow during the day and I'll post it but uh I'm almost positive it's gonna be regular shit I gotta fix my fucking hair again I'm a mess um so we have uh we'll have a Tuesday Thursday and Saturday stream uh, I'm sorry Sunday <laughs> Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. I still got to update the. There's a schedule graphic down below, and I still have to update it for the summer hours. Um, yeah, I'll get around to that at some point. I'm bad. I'm a baddest motherfucker in the world. Oh fuck. Fluff of my nutters, big boy. Oh, thank you, big meanie, for 21 months. Holy shit, dude. Thank you. Appreciate you. And with that, that is another fucking spin. God damn it. Hey, can't, what's with candy? Oh, I haven't had one of those in a while. It made me think like, I'm like, what the fuck is this? Uh, no, those are death nuts. We're not eating those. You fucking suck my ass. Hold on. Oh, here they are. So Laser Lady got me these through Throne a while ago. Um, Jug rethinking life choices intensifies. Yeah, it's, not, it's about right, Shuffle. That's effectively 95% of my day. Death Nuts sounds like a punk band. It should be. No, you can't have these. You see the dog come flying in here, little shit. She's like, oh, candy. <laughs> what? Do you want to say hi to everybody, Mila? Oh, you can kind of see her. Her little snoot. Her little snoot. Mila, you wanna come up here? Here. Come here. Come on. Come on. You camera shy? Yeah. You gonna lay in your bed? Lay in your bed? You gonna just stare at me like I'm an idiot? Okay, that's cool too. Love you too. You need to boop the snoot redeem. <laughs> Well, I mean, like, typically when I stream, the door is closed because Amanda is already going to bed and the dogs go to bed with her, but she's pet sitting. Reminds me my dog does anything. Hey, is that food? Yeah, for real. She's a good girl, though. She's had a really weird issue, though. So the good news is that um, Amanda is a vet tech a uh, town over from us so she's very knowledgeable on things but um she's kind of stumped at what's going on recently with uh with mila what the f my hair keeps getting fucked up I mean, grant i went in the pool and didn't shower afterwards so what do i expect um but she must have like alopecia or something like that um that's fine uh, but she has like random little bald spots on her, like like up here by her ear, then down here in the neck, and then like other areas, like it's thinning a little bit. It's really interesting. I don't know what's going on, but it's nothing. It's nothing major, and all the things that she would look for, it's not those. So allergies. So that's another thing too. Is she has a really weird. I think it's like a. She has like hair loss like on her butt. And uh it's so like her butt gets naked in the winter, which is like uh it must be awful. Same girl, same. Yeah, she's on her bed now. That's my good girl. Yeah. Yeah, good puppy. But I think she uh I think she rolled in like a dead bug or something because there's a big sticky spot on her back now it's gross yo pandora thank you so much for the lurk hope you're doing well have you tried putting anything on her topically like coconut oil or something uh not yet but uh i know she wants to bring her in and do some other checkup stuff on her just to make sure plus i think they're both they're both due for a checkup anyways rear's a weird place to lose fur right yeah all right so i haven't forgot I've not forgot about you, dearest big meanie. Oh, the expiration date on these was January 1st, 2024. 
whatever. They're just hard candy. It's actually uh, ghost pepper, hard candy, blue raspberry flavor. Coconut oil is good for skin issues with dogs. Hmm. So I gotta get, the thing is they're kind of squishy because they're a little melty because it's hot. But yeah, these um, these are have a good kick to them, but it's not like ghost pepper like what we did last weekend. Not gonna lie, ghost pepper blue raspberry sounds bomb. Yeah, these are like hard candies and it's really good. I think you would like these. Um, I don't think it's on my throne anymore because they were purchased. But yeah, they're just called, um, what is it? Oh, Flamethrower Candy Company. So yeah, check that shit out. Put those in your vending machines. <laughs> I'm sure they'd sell. All right, there we go, we got it. Oh, Rizzo, thank you so much for the follow, I appreciate it. Welcome to the mob. All right. Coming with me. Oh my God. I've never listened to this band before and the fact they just quoted Tombstone fucking rules. All right, so this is supposed to look like a pepper. And as you can tell, it's seen better days. But uh, it looks more like a goldfish. The snack that smiles back. Just kidding, it's gonna hurt you. Yeah, this not like it has an interesting taste. Yeah, it's good. It's got like the blue raspberry comes first and then like the heat of the ghost pepper comes in second. Looks like a melted rain boot. <laughs> like a, oh, a pineapple? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This way? A blue pineapple. At least it's not a blue waffle. Don't Google that. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Mm. All right, so track one to 45. Yeah. Yeah, they're not hard candy anymore. It has like the consistency of um, almost like a Tootsie Roll now. Oh, because those things have melted in the heat of this room and then have like froze, not froze, but like hardened again during the winter. And oh. but yeah, they've just, uh, they've been around for a while. Oh. I mean, in terms of heat, one of the most mild heat things on the wheel. So it worked out for me. <laughs> All right. Um, I think it's time for us to, uh, to play some Alan Wake now that it's been almost a fucking half an hour. Holy shit. What is this? Oh, can't say I'm a fan of this. That's okay, though. <laughs> Okay. And I don't need to listen to new metal of today. Thank you, though. All right. Uh, we'll continue the game where we left off. If you're overwhelmed by enemies, try to run to the light, which I've done. My name's Randolph. I'm the manager. Oh, yeah, we skipped a bunch Rose. of videos. Shit. Oh, right. Because Rose called and she was like possessed. I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her track. <laughs> this gippy son of a bitch. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Oh, wait, I gotta switch. There we go. I feel better now. Urban legends come true. And get this. Most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. The natives. <laughs> I don't hold with that sort of thing. Early 2002 metal only. Yes. Anyway, Is this the one in Maine? Um, it's supposed to feel like Maine. Like, this Alan Wake is supposed to kind of be like a Stephen King type. He writes, writes like scary, hard books. So yeah, this is the remaster. I played the original way back when. I think it was the 2009. Randy's dogs. 
But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. Guess so. Brother, where are you taking us? Follow Randolph. Yo, Rez, what's up? Welcome in, my friend. Things are going well here. I got sunburn really bad today on my face, but otherwise, pretty good. Oh, it's right here. Ooh, is there something I could pick up? No, just a can or something. Oh, it's not. Okay, got it. We have to walk around the airplane. I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bad lady. Slowest NPC in the game, yeah. She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. What are we doing? Bring me to the... She knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Oh, if I hold control, he'll walk. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? I'd have to kill you. Just here to talk to her, pal. I love his fucking his his drip right now is just it's something else. I mean she's not gonna answer the door. Oh, she will. Welcome to to Oh dear. Mr. Wake. I'm I'm so glad you're here. Like she does not sound good. Do you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh yes. Yes. Please come in. I wouldn't have drank hey, that. This is really good. Rose. Yeah. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. <laughs> Barry. Sounds like a robot. She doesn't yeah. have anything. Yeah. Uh hey Al. Al, what's Oh Barry. What? Yep. <laughs> like did how did that not set him off? He met her. I'm coming for you. Hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. And misery? Oh god, I hope not. I promised I'd come Ooh. visit you. Things we knew was gonna happen for hundred bucks. Yeah. You must finish what you started. Fucking touch me, lady. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Yeah, I would love to. Where is the light switch in this random realm? Oh, okay. I'm awake. What the fuck? Back to work, boy. Oh god. Good job with the light. Very. Why am I in a child's bedroom? I felt nauseous, hung over. Same. The only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary oh, editor to help. Oh, Lord! Me. It's not a child's bedroom. It's her bedroom, and she loves Alan Wake. Very strict. I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do. <laughs> Big ol' yikes. Yeah. I'm attempting. About this place, she's worked with another writer under... <laughs> Alice took a day for Maine. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out oh. once I got on the road. Take your fucking thermos, you jerk. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? Like, that's not what she I sounded like initially, so... Rose. Something had used her to get to me, and left its mark. First refill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's specials? Thank you. A nice day. Come back soon. I will. Why can I not? Okay. Wait. He was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. Bear. 
Alright, fuck him. So handsome. <laughs> Alright, we're out. Oh, a manuscript. Gun and flashlight were gone. Oh. I had to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. <clears throat> that little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It Fuck him. Wow, Jug, that's where your brain goes in this situation? Not, not literally. Smart ass sidekick. Looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours. Way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. Oh boy. Yeah, we need to... We need to get him the fuck out of here quick before the cops show up and they're gonna be pissed. Be like, what are you doing? Uh, there's a radio here now? I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home. Oh, I'm giving up that I was here so everyone knew I was here? Yeah, thanks. Appreciate that. Oops. Goodbye. There's his car. So no flat. Oh boy, no flashlight and no gun. Oh, you're gonna get it now. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. Hemingway. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Slane. Oh, they fucking shot him. Ooh. What are you? I'm standing right here, you goddamn oh, man. Oh, I thought they shot him. If you point a finger at them and go pew pew, they'll fall. <laughs> uh. I needed to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. It's gonna suck if it's if the uh, bad guys come out while the cops are chasing me. I'll be in a uh, big shit. What happened there? Boo boo. I made it through just fine. Oh, fuck. Damn. I mean, the flares are helpful in terms of keeping all the. Oh! Wait, how do I crouch again? Fuck. I don't think I can. Make it through. Oh, there's a manuscript over here. I see it. For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Oh. So it's our fault. Got it. Oh, fuck. What the? You guys good? Time to go. To the light, to the light, to the light, to the light. Woo. 
All right. We, uh, we evaded the police, kind of. Drop hazard. Well, don't drop. Oh, shit. The flare. No, someone just shattered a glass somewhere. They got attacked by something. Oh shit, that light's gone because uh this cop car fucking This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops Let's wait for a second, till the art for that last manuscript. Not a um Fuck, what did it say? Oh, it's the fact that uh this evil is lurking in that woman Barbara, and it's been sleeping and, and in pain and hungry, and the second it noticed me. Oh fuck! The second it noticed me, it uh, it woke up. Fuck you! Oh fuck the birds! No! Oh shit! Yikes. They go up here and heal up really quick. Oh, I actually already healed. Interesting. Not good. I go in here? I can. Oh! Sick. Uh, this is Jane. Mulligan Thornton, come in. Over. Uh, Thornton here. Uh, Jane. Uh, Thornton here. Wheeler. And Rosen. Wheeler. Mulligan. See the lights at the radio station in the distance. Ah. Okay, there's just only a big long trail for me to get there. Awesome. It's a good place to hide. I feel like that dude would like likes me. I don't think he would uh, turn me in, but we'll see. Oh, not that way. Okay. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Fair enough. Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to destroy the gate. I wouldn't get through without a fight. We gotta find a fucking flashlight somewhere. Oh, right here. There was no power to the searchlight. Fuck. All right, hold on. This cable. All we got to do is follow it to a generator. It 
Zip zap, we were taking a bath. Right? The old generator conked out. I'd have to see if I could fix it and try again. I didn't even see that thermos at first. Come on! Pick up the thermos! Pick it up! Okay, thank you. Uh, well, hello, Liz. Welcome in, my friend. Oh. Kick it. Yeah, that'll do it. That's how I fix my fucking generator, too. Um... What's up, Liz? How you doing? Aha, see ya. That generator is, uh, not having a good day. Alright, well, took care of a fence. I'm really dangerous now. Very OP. Can't even tell if there's anything hidden nearby. Because if I had my flashlight, that okay, that pipe would uh, what the? Why are you yelling at me? Aha! Here we go. All right now, where's the? Is there a gun here too, perchance? No. All right. Well, flashlight's better than nothing. Fuck you. Save my battery the best I can. Oh shit. It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Jeez, got a few flashbangs. Mouse five to throw flashbang. Which one is that? I think it's this one. Yep. Can I answer the radio? Just be like, sorry, they're dead. Bye. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, keep just working out at home right now. Set up the wrong machine in the treadmill tomorrow. I have to set up the weightlifting bench. Then my home gym is done. Nice. Uh, I'm good. I got a nice old sunburn on my face uh, today while I was outside, but it's all good. Uh, duh. Let me alone! Woohoo! Wait, do I have to throw another one? Oh, alright, fuckhead. Alright, uh, took care of him, I think. Cool. Fucking dick. Oh, shit! Okay, oh, light, light. And here's another call. You're on KBFFM with Batman. Looks like a ton of degrees outside right now, so being able to work out in my basement with AC is so much better. Hell yeah. Gunshots. Yo, Chaotic, what's up? Welcome in. Uh, you know, just playing some Alan Wake flashlight simulator. Alright, onto the music, and I'm out. Alright, we're going. 
Fuck. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. I didn't kill any of them. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Ow. All right, go back. Go back. I gotta heal. Where'd the fucking light go? You son of a bitch. Oh, shit. That's not good. I mean, I am. He I did heal a bit, which is fine, but. <clears throat> All my working equipment is to hand me down for my twin brother who does bodybuilding. Oh, got it. I'm gonna have to play with, through this again, close to the release of Alan Week 2. Alan Week 2 is out. That bro really just called the radio so they could call the police for him, essentially. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing all of this along with the extra episode, like DLCs. And then, um. What else am I, Oh, then we have the. Woo! American Nightmare. That was effective. Oh uh, shit, cop car? I don't know if I want to be near that. Unless it's got something I could, uh... Any grenades in the back or something? Hey, hey! Oh, I got fucking bamboozled! Fucker. Bamboozled. <laughs> What's up, Riz? How's it going? Oh, chaotic. The physical copies aren't out? That's really weird. I thought everything was. I thought it got released everywhere. That sucks. Oh, for fuck's sakes, it's a. All right, sick. Run. <laughs> Yo, Mr. Dog 2. Welcome in. How are you doing? Welcome to the mob. Oh, fuck you, pal. Eat that. Uh, eat another one. Oh! There we go. Oh, shit. All right, let's go. Into the light, and I'm good. Main could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. I'm doing great, you? Doing pretty good, doing pretty good. Came out digitally, and a month ago, they announced that they were making physical copies. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. That would bomb rush cyberpunk? Interesting. I didn't know that. So, Mr. Doug, how did you find us here today? Were you looking for uh, people playing Alan Wake, or were you just kind of looking at recommended? Or did you, did you hear my name somewhere? I just like to know where how people find me, that's all. Ooh, a thermos. Ow. Okay. Let's go ahead inside and talk to our bud. No, you're not. Come on in, Mr. Wake. Oh, okay. You unlocked the door from over there. Find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Nowhere to run now, Dan Brown. You back away from me. Don't hurt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. Oh, shit. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. <laughs> and only a civilian now. Run, Alan, run! Oh yeah, nice move. Ow. Alright, it wasn't that great of a move, I guess. Run, bud. Imagine that. I had fallen off so many cliffs it was ridiculous. <laughs> That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. Nightingale on the radio station. Nightingale stared through the broken studio window into the dark woods. 
He turned around, started to walk out, but Maine grabbed his arm. Young man, you almost shot me. You don't shoot off rounds at people like that. What's the matter with you? Nightingale shook his arm free, marched out. His cheeks burned with rage and humiliation. Dickhead. Fuck Nightingale. Ooh. Got some flares. Got up here. The generator? Yes, it is. Oh no! I'm stuck! I couldn't. I thought it started. I got so happy. Man, you're such a sucking dick. Fallen off so many cliffs, it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell me. Nightingale stared through the broken. Nightingale stared through the broken. Where I was. God damn it! <sighs> Nightingale stared through the broken studio going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. Oh my fucking god. Oh well hello Sleevin. I think these are the flares, so I'll throw a flare and then I'll start the generator. I think that's the, the way to handle this. How you doing my guy? Thank you for the bits and the heart attack. Yeah, it can't hurt me now, now can you, you some bitch? Oh shit, now they can. Oh, fuck yeah. Hey, right, so tough now, are ya? Ah! As I run back into the light. <laughs> there were flares on the box. Hey, you're right. And run! Back to flashbangs. What's up this way? Anything good? Nothing good. No, I hit the wrong button! That was a quick acting one. I wonder if there's something up here. Because this is a lot of stuff to... What the hell? Alright, maybe not. Because you'd think they would have, like, some of that spray paint somewhere to be like, hey, this way. I don't see any, so forget it. Jeff! What's up, dude? You played this recently? Nice. Oh! Oh, fuck, I did it again. sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here it was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use oh the darkness controls the taken i mean we know anything in here that's helpful huh anything nothing oh 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 okay i take it back oh shit oh there's one above me Oh, no. Come play in the light, bitch. Woohoo! My 
my lord! I'm hitting the button, sir. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez, I'm fucked. Yep. Damn. Oh, this is a tough spot. I wish I had more flashbangs. There might be, actually, maybe some more somewhere, and I just haven't found them. There's also another light here I didn't see before. So do not pick up the shotgun yet. Ooh, batteries. Revolver ammo. Are they not gonna let me prepare? Wait, are these lights shutting off on me? Oh, there's a flashbang. Yeah, look, it's like starting to short out over there. Yeah, it does. Okay, so they're only on for so long. I wonder if what's up here, if I could find anything up on the roof. All right, that hurt. <laughs> F. Be cool if there was something up here, but I don't think so. Yeah, nothing. Oh no, I hit the fucking sprint. Woo! Okay. Good job, Al. Ah, shit. Incoming ads. Sorry, everybody. The good... The good news is that it's the only, uh... It's only once an hour we gotta deal with ads. Let's make sure there's nothing else on the ground over here. Alright, we've got the flashbang ready. Shotgun ready. The wrong fucking button! Oh, Nelly! Oh! Oh, God! Woo! Run into the light, quick, let's heal up. Oh, shit. Oh, he's an idiot. Does this not count as light? <laughs> what the fuck? Heal. Hmm. Wish there's more shotgun ammo, but what can you do? All right. Well, we survived. Wait, what's that? Is that a manuscript? Yeah, it is. Oh, one way down here. Wake attacked by a bulldozer. The bulldozer's engine roared to life. Mud and rocks flew as it fought for traction. It crashed the concrete wall and landed heavily in the yard. If it were an animal, it would have shaken its head after the impact, fixed its eyes on me, and charged. Of course, it had no head, nor eyes. Shadows crawled on its form, twisting it into a monster. Then, it came for me. I do recall that. 
boss fight. So I'm assuming that's coming up real soon here. This light. Oh, another manuscript. Sarah distrusts Nightingale. Sarah trusted her gut, and her gut said Agent Nightingale was an asshole. He felt wrong, and it wasn't just the smell of stale booze. It was in the way he flashed his badge, pulled rank, the look in his eyes when he wanted answers. Where was Alan Wake? What was this about an accident? Where was his wife? And most importantly, why did she let Wake go? He wouldn't answer her questions. Federal business was all he'd say. Huh. No head or eyes, a Dulahan. Huh. It's a choo choo. In case of emergency, pick up batteries, revolver ammo, and shotgun ammo. All right, it's already all set. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Hello? He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. He keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. Alice! The had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded Ooh. wrong somehow, but she had called me. Well, let me grab this first, but there's paint over here. <clears throat> Wake it. Attacked by a possessed object. The pipe wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. Again. All right, well, there's paint there so up oh, there we go around here somewhere uh-huh ah perfect oh yeah shotgun ammo revolver ammo that I can't pick up at all wow uh, yeah, because I'm full. And then what's in here? Flare gun ammo, batteries, flare gun, three flares. Yo. We are <laughs> fucking packed and red. Oh! Oh, shit. Fucker. Fuck. Now where are you, huh? Yeah? He says shit. Oh, sh fuck. Alright. That, uh, that got sticky. But we good. We good. I lost a battery, but we still have 18 of them, so that's fine. Uh, hold up. I'm gonna go pick up that fucking revolver ammo now. Hello? Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba. But I didn't use any, uh... I didn't use anything else, though. Just the revolver ammo. I think it's full. Yep, cool. It's reloaded. Good to go. Alright. We're gonna go to that bridge, it looks like. Or underneath it, perhaps? Ooh. 
I could see a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. What's this here? Follow. Oh, okay. Will do. Something just breathed in my fucking ear. I'm sure this won't be problematic. Go! Okay. Can I? Thank you. The darkness that was I knew it. Was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. Ow! Oh! <laughs> the fuck did I walk into? <laughs> Alan Wake. What's up, demon? I hoped I could find a car from there. All right, that was fucking rough. I forgot I have to like I should hold the flare. I don't think I have any flashbangs. Yeah, I don't. Thanks, clicking cat. Uh not a boss fight, just a bunch of shit that gets taken over here. Like that. Then this goes up, right? Yeah. The darkness that was pursuing me was growing. This falls. And it was taking over everything in its path. It's everything down here. Fuck it. Oh, fuck. Haha, <laughs> it's one way to get rid of him. Is that it? Oh! What the fuck was that? Dude, I can't dodge shit. Alright. Whoo! Ay, ay, ay. Checkpoint reached at least. Now the flashlight. Ooh. Oh, what's this one say? Wake in the dark presence in the lodge. Don't right you have a roll key? No, it's just dodge. Open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left. No guilt either. Not for him. I took a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. Whoosh! Wow, Donald Trump is an enormous douche. 
As a teenager, just started to get Welcome interested. in, Father. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not. Heavy duty flashlight? Them fun. Ooh. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. I have some kinks that I want to like share with you so we can like do these things. I'm okay, and they're like, I have a foot pad. <laughs> Indeed, Meg, indeed. Oh, I think this is... I think I'm this is a dead. boss fight. Right! What are you doing? You're on vacation. Thank you for the sub. I'll spin the wheel after this, uh... I'm pretty sure is a boss fight. Find a vehicle, it says. Oh, we'll find one, all right. that and how how is everything fry how is the uh the travel i swear there's a uh there's a boss fight in this train yard oh a flare can i get up here no <clears throat> negative i bet you those are explosive Red tanks? Absolutely. Oh, what is this shit? Did you call 911? Ah, oh, I did not! with the wrong way dude let me out of the fucking corner you dickhead <sighs> and of course I can't get any more light shit Use their propane tanks by shooting at them. Yeah, it's just, it's, you have to like, I was definitely shooting at that one and it wasn't doing anything. We made it to our first stop, only two and a half hours to go tomorrow. Nice. Well, that's good. I'm glad it's been, I'm glad it's uh, been a good travel, safe travel, all the good stuff. Oh, Jesus Christ, pal. Alright. I'm alive for now. Ooh, I gotta go back at the- I think there's another box of handgun ammo out there, actually. Maybe. I had a cheeseburger with bacon and maple syrup. My word, it was so good. That sounds fantastic. I am an uber jealous. Oh, I already grabbed it. Horror. Hador. Yeah, no other stuff around here. In light, you can hurt them. I know! Why do you tell me this now, game? Ah, oh, perfect. Checkpoint reach, we got some batteries. Oh, there's some more revolver ammo. We got two more flares. Uh, oh, turn the radio on, why not? Oh, I guess not. Okay, we are healed up. We got full batteries. TV turns on, I bet, yeah. I'm not gonna listen to that though. I got shit to do. I come back in here. Okay. Whoop! <laughs> Almost missed the manuscript. We get attacked by the dark presence. The darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. 
I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. Well, that's not good. Oh, I can't get back up. Oh, fuck. Okay. So we have, let's see, a gate over there. We got emergency supplies there and on the blue Conax. All right, let's, uh, let's do it. Oops. I'm out in the open. Come get me. Oh, fuck. Here it is. Oh, ho, ho. I think not. Take this. Oh, God. news Hell yeah baby Flare gun rules Nice. Uh, let's check the other emergency box just in case for anything good and yummy. I take the batter. I can't take the batteries either. I bet because I have twenty. Whoa! I can't get up there. Okay. All right. Oh, there's another one over here. Just make sure. Flares and batteries. Oh, the batteries revolve around. I can't take again. That's fine. I actually probably did that fight a lot better than I did the first time I played the OG game. I'm actually quite impressed with myself. Yeah, there's no more battery room. All right. Open sesame. Ooh, is that a truck that I can drive? Ooh, hi there, Mr. Thermos. I don't see any, uh, paint anywhere of intrigue. Okay, let's go. So glad someone left the keys in the truck. I've never been this glad to see the sunrise. <laughs> I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. <sighs> the coal mine wasn't far now. Well, can we hurry the fuck up? Jesus. The cold Today, mine. I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. Sweet. Why can't I drive to it? No, I'm gonna fucking drive to it. Fuck him. Oh shit. Yeah, the uh, I forgot the the spin. Yes. Thank you, Fry. <laughs> All right. No, no new new metal. No. What is up with the with title playing this after I was Give me a second, sorry everybody. Weird. Spin spin. Spin indeed. And this one is because Fry um 
resubscribed earlier. How many months was that again? God, where is it? 37 months. 37 is my lucky number. All right. Let's spin this bitch. Bahan Star. That's a that's a good kick one. I think this is Bahan. Yeah, yeah. First try. Hooray for me. All right. Let me take the one point off to 45. Perfect. So this is the Bahan Star. This one's like a Caribbean hot sauce, if I do so recall. Uh, so this is hot, three out of three. So it's one of the hotter ones, but not the hottest ones. This has dill, pepper mash, carrots, onion, horseradish root, mustard, vinegar, and spices. Good or bad? It, this one tastes good, but it's um, it's got a good, good kick to it. Like it's, it will hurt. <laughs> Cheers. It sounds awful to you. Oh, <laughs> the ginger pops, and then immediately you get hit. That mustard actually shines through really well too. Woo! Oh, well, look who just woke up. You wanna come up here? Come on, over here. Come on. What are you doing? You good girl. You wanna come up here? Oh, come here. Mila. Come here. Come on. You wanna come up here? No. Are you shy? Cause you know I'm streaming. Silly girl. Yes. Doggy. Um, I don't like to pick her up just because like not that she's fragile, but if she doesn't want to go anywhere, she won't. Hi. Well, come up here. Come on. No. Don't you. Don't you. Me uh, meow. What am I? Come up here. Come on. No, it's all good, demon. Don't worry about it, man. Come on. You want to come up here? Look. Mila. <laughs> she's just sitting there. Oh. She just wants some lovin's. Oh, to cook. <laughs> she has her head just like, cause she likes when I scratch the back of her neck. I tried, I do. She's a bit of a diva queen, but. Excuse me, I'm not a diva. I'm Mila. Oh, you good girl. Yeah. All right. We're going to go back to playing video games now, but you can stay here if you want. <laughs> All right. Uh, back here. Whew. All right. I'm going to try to drive. We just bonked your head. I felt that. Come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. No and shit. Its narrative had taken Ooh, into dark water. Oh and my god. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the dark presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real, but it matched a textbook case of insanity. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh boy. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's like, I'm out of here. Dingleberry. Go to the coal mine. You got here and check this little building for any uh, supplies. Checkpoint reached. 
this is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBF FM. Folks, I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. I was detained. Can I steal this car now? Yeah. Uh, slow visit. Oh, do not go over the side of this cliff. Hill. <laughs> okay. I have two German Shepherds, and our youngest one is bigger than our than the other three combined. Wow. Yeah, Mila's a little bit bigger than Tater. Um, but Tater has the mean streak. What do we have here? Oh, thank God, I gotta take a shit. Nope, guess not. Whew. My nose is running from that hot sauce. Welcome back to KBF. Oh my God. Now, Doc, you were talking about life and not even a thermos up here? Bunch of dicks. Oh, there's your coal mine right there. You pegged him? Jesus. Okay. It's actually, can I take this car? Oh, yeah, baby. Just keep taking different cars, you know. Well, I thought that was the coal mine. I guess not. Oh, it is. It's just looping around. Oh, what a perfect drift. That was awesome. Visitor parking. Well, I am a visitor. I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. All right, so that's the actual coal mine, but he said main building. Oh, it's a little museum. Checkpoint reached. Brave Falls Coal Mine Museum. Yeah, it is a museum. Okay, so I'm not making shit up. Ooh. Uh. Oh, it's this one. Sarah in the radio station. Gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window. Main stairs. <sighs> the sheriff looked away. Main's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. <laughs> See, at least he gets it, the fucking old, old dude. 1970, a volcanic eruption below Cauldron Lake, while relatively minor, caused most of the deep mining tunnels to collapse or flood. 32 miners lost their lives in the calamity, and all mining around Bright Falls came to a final stop. Now many of the remaining buildings are protected as historical landmarks. Interesting. Oh. Big fucking place. A word of caution, if you please don't kiss the cat when it has fleas, fleas, fleas. Cops have to be looking for me. The new sun turned the place into a sauna. Oof. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back, or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. Cat still I cat. Had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. Where the fuck is this dude? We'd be there at noon, and it's hope. now it's night. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. And you stayed out here until night. Why, Alan? Why? The big dick. mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. 
I'm through being jerked around you by you. You see your wife alive. Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello? Ah! Ah! I know we are, but, you know, we... had to get to Mirror Peak. Well, okay. But isn't that the door? Oh, shit! What the fuck was that? The game just, like, got weird. What? close. Maybe closer than ever before. What the fuck was that? Okay, can I use the door now? Dude. Uh, is there a ladder somewhere to come down here? Or do I go down here? Okay. That's fair. Oh, fall damage. I'm like, what are we doing? <laughs> like, how did I just get hurt? There's no generator anywhere or anything? Like, ooh, hello! Take it all, baby. Take it. Okay, we did. Oh. Oh, okay. Classic shit. How much how much of this shit can I bring? Oh my god. I have 14 flares. Holy fuck. I didn't think I was gonna be able to have that many flares. Oh boy, this is gonna hurt. Oh, I'm actually okay. Aha! <clears throat> Thomas Zane in love with Barbara Jagger. When Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger, it happened fast. She was young. Gonna get ambush calling it? Of course. Of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best Aww. of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. Oh, well, that's good. I should have to follow a path. What's this? Holy revolver ammo! What kind of place is this? Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Got him. Holy shit, what the fuck was that? Oh. Okay, we're good. USA government bitch. <laughs> oh, flashbangs, let's go. Not many of them, so we gotta use them when it's 100% necessary. Which I think I'll just switch to them now. There we go. Oh, fuck. Oh, double fuck. Oh, what a headshot. Oh, that was sick. All right, that was good. All right, no one hiding back there. No one hiding over here. No? Great. What the fuck is in there? What is going on in there? 
This will just clam up. It can't get out. Or so I think. Oh. That was hard. All right, in we go. All right, that's good. Gucci, we're doing all right. And over there. Nothing on the shelves? You're killing me. All right. What, the hell? what was I focusing on? Oh! It's the tornado. All right, well, we're just gonna carry on like we didn't just fucking see that. Um, oh, I can't go this way. Uh, check over here for anything. No, all right, so there must be stairs. Oh, look what we have here. Oh boy. We get to drop down and not be able to jump back up. So something's about to happen. the hillside ahead was to go through the building i had to find a way to avoid electrocution uh all right let's try to see where's the cables heading there's got to be a cables i mean besides that oh, actually i guess we could just go this way right oh fuck propane tanks wide open area yeah we gotta get over there somewhere i bet hello oh yeah there they are. Oh, they're coming out of the woodworks. Oh, you sneaky bastard. thing Woo, baby oh dude those graphical glitches are really silly Any other friends around here trying to act tough, huh? Alright, this gate's closed and I can't open it, so I do have to come up the stairs here. What do we have here? Oh, yeah, heal up, heal up, heal up. I'm already full, okay. Flare gun ammo, baby! Anything else over here? No? Alright. Time to shut the power off, because that's... smart. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. There we go. Oh, boy. Do 
can fucking hold still. Oh shit. I fucking missed. Oh, fuck. Ow! Stop throwing shit at me, assholes! Oh, boy! Oh, I'm getting... Oh, boy. Not good. Yikes. Yeah, I'm so fucked. I need another fucking propane tank. I'm dead. Oh! Oh! Come on, dude. Wait. Oh, yeah, I'm fucked. There was another thing floating right there, too. Ah, damn. <sighs> All right. I should uh, roll with the shotgun since I'm running low on the revolver. And this is a big fight. We have for the battery to reload. Oh wow, I didn't have to fucking hold down the battery. Interesting. Bring darkness of what did you do to make them so pissed? Uh it's the darkness that kind of runs everybody. It's really interesting. you dude I'm fucking dodging that dude ow oh fuck you dude Fuck. Well, let's get running. Oh, shit. Sick. Oh, another one. Yeah, there's a there's a darkness that oh shit that's able to control things and people. I oh, got him. Oh my god, another one. driven oh. I could have driven this thing the whole time damn that's too bad I would have saved so much ammo <laughs> fuck oh well oh shit oh okay I hate when it does that so much. 
Ooh. Revolver ammo. And some bat trees. Anything else? Fuck. Don't forget your lunchbox. Oh, what? Okay, all that revolver ammo just spent. So don't forget to check your lunchbox. It must have been a caption. Yeah, I think what it was is one of those guys that don't forget to check your lunchbox. But it was just so loud I couldn't, and they were a little further away so I couldn't hear them. Nice. No, can't grab those. Oh, more revolver ammo. Uh. All right. Moving on up. Okay. Checking all my corners. Oh, we got a couple propane tanks in here, so this is not going to go well. Yep. Come on down, dumbass. Oh, here we go. Gotta fucking hit that! You fucker! Don't turn it. Let's go. Oh, it's a big boy. I hear him walking up there. At least I thought so. Huh. Alright. Fuck him. Did you call Hank Hill? Oh, I did it again, didn't I? Ooh. Follow. Yes, random paint. Oh, here we go. Another manuscript. Uh, wake touched by the dark presence. Some of the Taken retained echoes of their former selves. But these were just the nerve twitches of a dead thing. Nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the dark presence. But for anything more elaborate, as with the writer, it was different. It needed his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, it merely touched him. Excuse me. We got down here. Oh my, that's not good. <clears throat> Drop. Oh, this is regular oil. Look around here. Oh shit! I'm like, what's that noise? Okay, let's see. Revolver ammo. What's this? Oh, open up the gate. Nice. Batteries I don't need. Oh, fuck. That's not good. Well, at least it, uh, opened. There's that. There was no way the flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can't drive this one. Damn it. All right, so I gotta go that way. Oh, it's just a little. Ow! What the fuck was that? Go that way. I think I have to go up here. Oh yeah. Huh? 
Dude, what? What? Oh, I'm standing in one. I'm an idiot. And that's the one I was standing in earlier. <laughs> Dummy. Right, what's this way? Oh, boy. I mean, now we have a choke point, right? That wasn't too bad. Oh, what the fuck? Please tell me that's the last one. I also don't have any ammo left. And you're not gonna give me any ammo after all that? Wow. Ooh. Well, at least it'll give me the manuscript. Waken Barry in the cell. Oh. the bars of the jail cell. Oh. Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. What are you talking about? All right. I think we just have to go this way. Don't even think about it, bird. None of you birds better start up. All right, I only have—I don't have much left here. Ooh, it's a thermos. Went on that. There's some light over that way. Okay, let me go up here. Maybe there'll be some stuff up here I can get other than just that. Oops. Ooh. Okay. This is a fucking setup, isn't it? Trust no one in the dark. You got it. Flare gun ammo, flashbang, flashbang, flare gun. That's really it. Okay. Oh my god, dude. shot. Oh, dude, I'm fucked. All I've got now is flare gun. Which is, flare gun works great, but I try to save those for the big fights. Oh, thanks for the lurk, demon. Appreciate you. Oh, wait. Ooh, hold the fucking phone. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, there's an emergency thing down there too. Sick. Ooh. All right, good, good, good. Let's run for the light. It's fine. Oh yeah. All right, what do we got? Uh, batteries and two things of revolver ammo. That's sick. Okay. Good. Oops, shotgun ammo, shotgun ammo. Batteries are full. Anything else in here that would be helpful? Nah. Just the batteries, but we're full. That's fine. I had no real plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough... I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Pump action shotgun? Ooh, hello. There's a lot more ammo I can put into that thing. This rules. I should, oh, it's a thermos. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I hate when that happens. Oh, God. At the wrong fucking button. Oh, well, that's one way to do it. A locked fridge. Flare gun ammo, thermos. Oh shit! Motherfucker. Piece of shit. This way, I think. Yeah. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, you're all fucked. See ya. Ah, the light. Run to the light, Alan. Alan! Alright, cool. That is a good, uh... Good checkpoint spot there. Sick. We're just knocking down the trees left and right. moving ahead of me in the same direction I was going. A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? There's a lot of crosses around here. Could you the graveyard shift may cause cancer? Oh, it does, does it? Oh shit, he had to boss. Fucking dick. Stop running around. 
All right, listen. Dickhead. All right, moving along. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. I don't know what that is. Uh, batteries, that's it. Ah, oh, okay. Nice little safety point to get some yummy health, even though I already have all the health I need, but still, good to have it. I sure as shit thought that was... Uh... Okay. The place was dead. A ghost town. Had been for decades. Maybe a century. Maybe a century. Stuff keeps getting launched. What is going on here? Ow! Fucking asshole. I had to go back and heal up now. What a piece of shit. I thought I was getting out of the way of that for sure. Man, no worries. Heal up. And go. We will survive. Let's see what else they fucking throw at me while we cross this bridge. This should be real fun. Oh, hold up. <laughs> Important, we have to read first. Wake and Casey. Were never as simple in real life as in fiction. What? I've lost count of the times I wished there'd be a clear reason for my writer's block. Something to fight. Something I'm gonna to have fight. a nice little felther. There wasn't. I was filled with doubt. I was nothing Cheers. Like in my books. Alex Casey had gone through his life with single-minded determination, never wavering from his goal. Even now, <clears throat> I was angry at myself. Angry at Alice. Angry at Barry. I was fumbling and I had no plan. Aren't you a writer? Write something. Oh, can't go back to heal myself now. Ooh, saw a thermos in here. Yeah. Sakes. And batteries I can't pick up. Oh, I thought there was something in there. <clears throat> okay, alright. Making good progress. I may be scared, but <laughs> making good progress. Ooh, what was that? I just saw some shot. Batteries! Son of a bitch. All right, we're moving on. What's in here? Nothing. It's a fucking fridge attack. Well, no fucking way, dude. Yeah, get fucked. Piece of shit. Oh, no. And the tractor. Tractor. Woohoo. Oh, I thought I was dodging that. Well, no.
Did the thing fall down? Ooh. Yeah, I think it fell down. <laughs> Dummy. Okay. Fuck me. Jesus. Start pissing through those batteries. And of course, now I can't go back and get the other batteries I found. Looks there's a light in here. Oh, a key. Sick. You, uh, we do need a key to get into a building that's more than likely locked. That's not happening. Oh, hi there. Found a lot of those so far. I wonder if there's a... All right. Uh, there's no achievements. It's uh, Epic Games. <laughs> Stupid. All right. Let's go in. Sick. Um, flare gun ammo is nice. Anything outside of oh, batteries. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some hunting rifle. I like that pump action too. Alright, bye. I'm not listening to all that. Why are we knocking trees over? Can someone explain that to me? It's not very nice. Um oh, yeah, there's a ladder. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no way to go up there. Nope. Alright, climb it again. Jeez. Guys, make me run the fucking gauntlet. Oh. Hold the phone. We got some paint over here. Some. Hello? The kidnapper had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. He <laughs> was telling me to hurry up. Alright, well I see paint here, but... Okay. Alright. Ah. I feel like this was along the way. Uh, we got a ton of fucking flares now. I guess I'll just keep going around this way. No. All right. There's another way this way. It looks oh, okay. I see. Man, we are getting some serious vertical. Uh, Fucking hate the birds. Come on, come on, get closer. Oh, 
Oh, scared ass birds. All right. Whoa. Yikes. Oh! Fuck you! Disappeared. See ya, birds. Oh! I think they can fo follow me down here. At least I hope not. Exit the silver mine. Oh boy. Okay. I'll make sure there was anything. Interesting over there. Tunnels. Go to Cauldron Lake. Oh, interesting. Ah! None of. No! Stop! What's down this way? Oh! I can hear you. Without warning, the headache stabbed at my brain. Ouch. All right, we're okay. Get up, get up. Alice, Alice, where are you? Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hunters taken. Hunters were big, thick-set men, confident and at home in the woods. They were feeling good, running on beer, ghost stories, and camaraderie late into the night. It did them no good, as they were taken by the dark presence, <clears throat> sucked deep into a darkness far worse than any ghost story they ever told or heard. <laughs> wah, wah. That's not good. All right. Uh... Nope. Okay, I can't. So this whole thing down here was just to get that manuscript page then, which is fine. Excuse me. Yeah, gas up, gas up, we're good to go. Excuse me, holy shit. Okay. Now we go this way. Ooh, very fancy. Ooh, flares. So many flares. Aha. Something's gonna be happening here. Ooh. This one is Nightingale in the Majestic. Even behind the closed doors and curtains of his grimy room at the Majestic, the local motel, Nightingale could feel the locals' eyes on him, the unrelenting pressure of their judgment. Yeah. He forced it out of his mind. For all he knew, they could all be under Wake's spell already. You do what you have to do to get the job done. He took comfort from the bottle in his hand. Please, he thought. Just let me get through this. Just let me get through this. I'm a special agent, and I'm so amazing. Ah, uh, what's all that noise? In back here? Nope. Okay. Oh 
boy. That explains that. Oh my god, how is he already there? No fucking shot, dude. Eat that. Yeah, fucker. Piece of shit. Alright, so that place got closed in easy. Aha! Another thermos. I doubt I'll find all of them, but like, it's pretty cool, like, being able to find a lot of them. I think there's a total of a hundred in the game. It's that way, and then that's the caved in spot. What in the world? I'd have to make my way up this mine shaft in order to go on. Oh. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. Let's hope so. Okay. All right. Now, ooh, okay. Now we take the ladder up. I'm sure there's another one of those things up here. Oh. Oops. Uh, am I going that that way? Yeah, it looks right. Sick. All right, that's a ladder to go up. But what's over here? All right, so this is probably gonna lift it up a bit further for me. Yeah, sick. We're right, doing good, we're doing good. Flying up here, flying! Uh... Okay, slight problem. I think I need to lower that a bit. <laughs> no worries. I just misjudged what I was doing. Yeah, it's right there. That makes more sense. And there'll be another elevated, uh, elevated, oh, blah, 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 another elevator, elevator console to move it up a bit more for that other gap. Okay, we're good. Now we're at the top, but not quite good enough. kick ah got it and then now we move it up a bit more just like that and now I can take this ladder back up to the top oh yeah we got this simple Checkpoint reached. We got some of that. We got the health that we didn't need. All right, let's climb up. Oh. We finally get to the end of the mine here, maybe? We're close to the end. Kick. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. Reach the mirror peak lookout. Oh, that's probably it over there. All right, what's up here, though? Wait, is there no... Can't tell if I go up or down here, but uh, I don't think I need to go up. I do want to check out what the fuck is up here. Ooh, flares. 
I finally max maxed out the flares. Wow, a 20. Holy shit. Let's climb up here. Ah, manuscript. You hit this one pretty well. Tor hits Nurse Sinclair. Behind the windows of Cauldron Lake Lodge, Tor Anderson laughed and held the steel hammer above his head. Nurse Sinclair was trying to calm him down without <clears throat> success. Tor grinned madly and shouted, My hammer's up. Here's a friendly poke from Molnir, wench. He brought the hammer down with all his might on Sinclair's head. We're on a comeback tour, baby. Shit. That's quite the view. Okay. Excuse me. Holy shit. Okay. Now let's head back down and actually go all the way down. Oopsie. Oh shit, I thought that was manuscript at first. It was a fucking hole. Mm. Fucking birds. All right, problem solved. Goddamn birds. Ah. Sick. Checkpoint reached. Flare gun. Great. Better. Just great. Yeah, just great is right. I'm expecting more birds. Hey, can you shut the door, please? A little dangerous. I hear them. Oh, shit. Ow. Ow. Done. Yeah, you stay away, fucker. I'm almost there. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, no. What am I doing? What am I doing? All right. Um, that could have been worse, I guess. Oh shit, all right, well. Jesus Christ. Oh my fucking God, dude. No! Okay. That was only a little frightening. Holy shit. I win. All right, mirror peak lookout. We're still making our way. I don't like this. Another hunting rifle. Something's about to attack. Oh, shit.
Oh my god, I heard him at the last second. I shot first! Creepy shadow whispers from Helmet Tall High Tree. <laughs> How you doing, my dude? Oh, fuck. Woo! Oh, fuck sakes. Nice, for a second I thought it was the game. <laughs> oh. Cauldron Lake. The eighth deepest lake in the world. Cauldron Lake is a caldera lake formed in a volcanic crater. The volcano itself could be considered to be active, but it has not erupted since the volcanic earthquakes in 1970. Even then, the underground activity was comparatively mild. Despite some property damage, there were no casualties. Cauldron Lake is one of the most beautiful spots in the Bright Falls area, as well as a central figure in many local folk tales. It's a popular recreational area for the area residents. Whatever you say. Um, all right, some sort of bridge there, but you know what? I don't see any special paint, but I do want to come look up here really quick if I can. Just to make sure I don't miss anything. Yeah, okay. All right, Alan, calm down. We got to, oh, great. This, uh, this should go well. All right, let's just walk in. Okay, we're doing fine. Oh, fuck it. Oh, no. Oh, you're the last one? Oh, okay. Oops. There we go. Whew, well, that was rough. Oh my. Ooh. We got something spicy up here. Oh, wait a minute. But there was paint right here that gave me an arrow. Oh, maybe it's this way instead. Oh, he almost tricked me. Here it is. I can't take any more flare gun ammo. Oh, it's unfortunate. All right, whatever. We're fine. There is a uh, manuscript piece over here. Mott at Cauldron Lake. Mott had checked all of Stucky's rental cabins. There had been no sign of the wakes. It was dark when he'd found their car parked at the end of the road by Cauldron Lake. It made no sense. They must have taken a wrong turn. But there was no sign of them, and the car had been there for hours already. Frustrated, Mott stood on the rotten ruin of the footbridge that had once led to Diver's Isle before it sank beneath the waves years ago. The boss wouldn't be happy. The boss wouldn't be happy. All right, we continue onward. We 
Jesus, how much further until this fucking place? This guy isn't really good at his job telling me where to, like... I understand you're a kidnapper, but fuck. Oh, I think that's the way I'm supposed to go. Uh, yeah, because there's no way to go over there. <laughs> Alright, cool. Oh. Oh. Clever. Oh. Oh, that's not a door. Wait, how do you get in there? There's stuff right there. Oh, I have to go through the basement? Oh, fucking awesome. No way around, right? Yeah. And there's a thermos right there. Shit. All right, we gotta go through the basement because of course we do. Dude, hello. C, W, and T, Z. Tom, Tom. Oh, oh boy. I miss you, Tom. I curse you, Thomas Zane. Did you write this? I miss you, Tom. Tom to Tom, Tom, Tom. Tom to Tom, Tom, Tom. That's not going to open, huh? Okay. Anything down here I can pick up? I guess not. I right, should be looking the stairs right here. Yeah. Or what's left of stairs? That doesn't sound good. Flares I can't pick up? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're going up another flight of stairs here. Oh. Yeah, a bit of a fixer-upper if you ask me. Oh, fuck! Oh, double fuck! Oh, triple fu Oh, my God. Ah! My word. Holy fuck. All right, I guess I'll pick up another flare. <laughs> but I'm all out of flashbangs. I had to use them. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> that sucked. Oh, I missed something down there. Oh, shit. All right, fuck it. Worth. Shotgun it. I don't have a shotgun. Fuck. Not worth. Here we go. Nice. Nice. And that uh, thermos is over here. Yeah. Sick. All right. We move forward. Mm -hmm. Oh. I could see Cauldron Lake. I thought I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. What is that way up there? 
Ooh. Manuscript. I was close now. I had to get there fast. I dreaded what I would find. Where wakes up in the awake wakes up in the lodge. I tried to hold on to Alice, but her form melted away. I was losing control. Doctor Hartman stood in her place. I wanted to hit him, but my <coughs> arms were jelly. Jelly <coughs> smile. It was a reassuring smile, and I hated him for it. <laughs> I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. You went through another rough period. Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. Hmm. <clears throat> Wait! Are you? Wait! Hey, I'm here! I'm coming! Oh boy. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh the flare. And down into the pond I go. Ow. the fuck and that's the end of the episode sick previously on Alan Wake I'm hunted by the law Sheriff Wake's running I'm giving chase are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies a thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true the genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. Truth. Mm. Alan, shh, baby. It was just a nightmare. Alice. Uh there you go, Alan. Hartman, I fell. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I you went through another rough period. What? Right now it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're you lie. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, Alan. Just let go. Excuse me. At least it's daytime. <laughs> I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. There were only empty sheets of paper here. No manuscript pages. Isn't this the... The door was locked. I was a prisoner here.
Let me out. Let me out. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit. You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. <laughs> now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Whatever you say, Hartman, that's this your real name. Patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip, except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. This way, Alan. Yeah, the second I get the ability to go outside, I'm gonna just leave so you can fuck yourself. <sighs> Excuse me. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the So much for escaping as, yeah. as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand. Why would you tell me that in a fucking elevator? And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying, but under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, he can crave you, let you creatively walk away. Is to resist creatively, of course. <laughs> Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. A nice sundial. Fucking throw him up and over this is ah! I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see near a peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Rip Fretchel would never use the word insane the way he is. Yeah, Mufasa him. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the I let him talk. All, Hartman and Carson loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, I dug my nails into the myself. palms of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your it's like how we just like internal monologued over that let's go inside <laughs> well, here's the entrance to the office wing that's for staff only 
You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature, it's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Scary, scary, scary. That neck? Very. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, Emerson. Ew. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video games. Ooh, yeah. It's trash, of yeah. course, but it does I'll involve some small creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. Mm. You might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Welcome to Codger Lake Lodge. We're here to give you the specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule a visit beforehand to ensure they don't interfere with your therapy and our periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patients' need for privacy and personal space, especially when they are engaged by their creative processes. Be patient. Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems, and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that you've voluntarily receiving treatment that has been specifically tailored for you. Engagement therapy, trademark, and its sister method, the flow, trademark, work best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice them. You got it. Oh, hey, it's those guys. Rheumatism's killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh. What a storm! I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a... how should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s <laughs> and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. No, oh, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. <laughs> He'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Zane, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! <laughs> Lest we forget a crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. The fuck? My head. Writing an assistant. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. 
But Emil convinced him otherwise. He too had a way with words. Mm. I was clearing up. Or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom, got any booze on you? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, we have guys. a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula. Local ingredients. Medicine clears your head right up. Makes you remember, like, moonbeams on the brain. Ah, oh, I just noticed. Leather patches on the elbows? That's not very rock and roll. <laughs> Tom just lost his <clears throat> all. Baba Yaga got to him too, the Baba Yaga. She used us all, taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. And my ravens, what was it? What were they? <laughs> Memory and thought, the hag. She took something from you too, didn't she? That's what she does. Um, we're better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator, an artist, a god. I've been shifted in their sleep. You're just gonna keep talking, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's the one. She makes sure it comes out twisted and wrong. Just ask the lamp lady. She knows what happened to that other rider. She's been using you, boy, and you let her. You went and opened the door for her, didn't you? Now, now, it was already open a crack. And whose fault is that? We're morally corrupt, disease-ridden, old and stupid. Doesn't mean he had to open it all the way, goddammit. Ah, uh, Finally, Jesus Christ. I may need a hand here later on, Birch. The storm's bound to make you know who jumpy. Gotcha. Black's got me looking at Wake. Something's wrong. I'm not myself. I'll do that, Birch. It's hard to think. Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. Always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. I think I've made a horrible mistake. Hey, I don't think wait. I'm any closer Why don't you humor Dr. Hartman Harman and Harman give the writing a shot? Huh? To get the story Typewriters in your room. The story will come true. You can get to your room by those stairs. Yeah, thanks, I'm already up here, dickhead. Jesus. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, Wake, you stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Where the hell did he get a damn hammer? I don't know. My hammer's up. Here's a friendly poke from me, old Oh, afraid of the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now. Oh, that wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. Well, if she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I could get the key to the office room from Sinclair. The backstage is I had to get to Hartman's job. office. Save he had taken all destiny. my manuscript pages. That's where he'd be keeping them. Come on. Markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made at the session to his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't believe it.
Hartman wasn't happy. Mott could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time. And he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. Do you hear me? Or I'm gonna sue your crazy quack ass to sweat! Barry? Ow! About Yo. time! Barry! Man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no! The cops found me a Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously... Oh. Guess not gonna hear the rest of that. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back Shh, into the... Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea... Hartman, what... shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful. With your ability and my... Uh-oh. Five. Hartman watches Wake fall. Hartman followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. I had to find a way out. Oh, fuck. Open the lock. Oh, the generator upstairs. Yes. Oops. I mean, I might as well. Oh, for fuck's sakes.
Oh shit. Hartman's mission. He, knew he was no creator. He had no ambitions on that front. And he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here, damaged in ways that were hard to describe, or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction, to be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. Hmm. Fuck am I supposed to go here? Oh shit. Nope, not that way. Here we go. Fuck, dude. Oh, right here. I'm trying to run past it and it killed me. Come on. Why can't I fucking- oh shit. Gotta get that, it's important. Yeah, hold on, pal. Making sure you didn't miss anything. I found the car, but the gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Great. Barry, I don't have a light. Take this, Al. Oh, God! Fuck this, dude. Yeah, working on it, pal. the right wall. Don't trust a meal. Is 
So don't know who Emil is, but we'll figure it out. Wake sees the old god stage. I stared at the Viking paraphernalia that littered the area, surrounding an unlikely centerpiece. A full side stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings, including a dragon. It took a special kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. <laughs> Where am I supposed to go? Oh, here we go. Hartman in the power failure. Hartman hurried down the corridor. He had disliked leaving Wake when he was surely at his most susceptible to therapy. But this was not an ordinary storm. Wake had been riding, and he had woken something up in the depths of the lake. Now, it was coming for him. Hartman had naturally prepared for a situation like this. The idiot brothers would keep Wake distracted while Hartman double-checked everything just to be sure. Yeah, do not distract me long enough. Good ammo. <laughs> you dude Fucking birds. We don't want any fighting at all. Man, I could just use this flare that I have on me too. You get two bells in the morning and then you'll be nice. Two bells in the morning. Fuck off.
Oh. Alright, that went much better that time. Doctor, nope. Yeah. Jesus, pal. Okay, as we continue forward. Anything good in here? Oh, thank God. Mott in charge. Mott knew that Wake was smarter than him. Wake had more money. Twy! Hello, friend. How are you? That made him better than Mott. But Mott was calling the shots now. He'd expected Wake to whimper and grovel, but instead, he seemed willing to fight. Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin. If only Mott actually had his wife. The thought made him shiver. <laughs> hey, it's Twy. Going good today? Glad to hear it. I'm doing pretty good, too. I got some uh, good sunburn today, but, you know, otherwise, doing solid. What the fuck? Oh, my word! Dude. Oh, the fucking light shut off. God damn it. Sounds like birds again. Oh. So I have a flare. Well, that could have been worse. Barry attacked by a Taken? For the moment, Barry was just glad he had survived the fall. He had been separated from Al, and there was no easy way to climb back up. He told himself he'd be okay. Okay in the gloomy forest at night. He would just have to wait for... Got new rocks today? Ooh, they like rocks. Barry heard the heavy footsteps and saw the movement. The man-shaped shadow lunged at him from the bushes, an axe held high. Barry screamed and threw up his hand. The world exploded. Uh-oh. I think Barry's going to die. Nice. More ammo for the handgun. A bunch of more batteries. Ooh, what do we have over here? Oh, fuck! Nelly. I assume it's around back here. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Sick. Actually, I think that's loaded. Okay. Too many birds. I don't like it.
Ah, yes. Oh, it's over there. Ooh, page up here. Hartman watched as Wake's features slackened. The man was bullheaded, no doubt. Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. <laughs> but with a little time, he could break Wake down, give him proper direction. Wake was easily the most promising subject he'd had. Well, since Tom, really. Sleep well, Alan, Hartman whispered with a smile. Let me take care of you. He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose, swallowed blood, and barely tasted it. Oh. I think that's it. We're in here. It's locked, brother. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Uh, bro, I slid it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so, uh... Barry, I'll find it. Don't worry about it. Barry. Barry. No, I tried to sneak through. That did not help. Hurry up, Barry. Come on. Come on. Oh, shit, dude. I'm fucked. Oh shit! Dude, there's so many! I have like no ammo to handle that or fucking flashlights. I guess I have one flare. Oh, it's so stupid. No, oh, no, wait, that's a twig. Oh my god! Run, run, run! <laughs> Holy fuck. Ow. 
Oh, just Please tell me we're cut out. Nearest. You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were going to say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're going to buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm going to live in it. <laughs> Keep going, holy fuck. I'm crazy, but that's fine, Mary. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest- But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Ow! How can you know that? I know, Barry. I can. Ow! I. No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here, it makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! Yikes. Oh, no. Oh, good. Barry's alive. Phew. Damn it, Al, talk to me. <laughs> Ow. I had lost my gun in the crash. Of course. Barry was nowhere to be seen. to hear your voice i was trying to get out of the car but the ground gave way Man, what a drop and don't worry your cutout is fine forget that are you okay i hit some bushes didn't get a scratch there's no way you can climb down though it's like a sheer wall ah, ow, there's something moving down here barry it's a taken use a flare barry Barry, are you all right? <laughs> I'm good, Al. I'm great. Guess you never mess with anyone from New York City before. You're gonna have huh? to find your way around to the farm, Al. I'll be waiting. Yeah, did you jump over it like that? Barry, just wait for me, okay? Al, I'm not staying here. It's suicide. I'm going to the farm. I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area. You can catch up. Don't worry about it. I'm on the case. Okay. This would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. Uh. Fuck you. Oh, shit. Fuck, go. That's just a manuscript. God damn it. When he stopped the car at the Anderson farm, Walter felt relieved. Oblivion was close at hand. The brothers wouldn't miss a jar of moonshine or two in the booby hatch. Booby hatch. He saw the man on the porch, and he knew who it was. Driving for his life and knowing it was useless, he didn't realize he was crying until he couldn't see the road for the tears. See ya. 
Oh my god. Oh no. Oh fuck. Oh my god, go. What's this? Shadows crawled over the gate. I needed a light to destroy them together. How do I turn this fucking thing on? Okay. Oh, fuck. All right, I have to jump there. My bad. I hope there'd still be a working generator somewhere around here to power up the old lights by the gate. Agent Nightingale stared at the passed out rider. The man was sleeping off one hell of a night. Nightingale felt a stab of envy at Wake's oblivion, but he had a job to do. He put the gun to Wake's head and almost became a murderer. His hand shook and his throat felt tight and dry. Biting his teeth, he tried again to pull the trigger. He lost the nerve. Wake stirred. Nightingale would have to settle for an arrest. <laughs> oh, darn. the movement in the woods ahead facing the enemy without a weapon was then dangerous fuck. but i had no choice got a flashlight at least now with zero batteries <gasps> fuck Knocks me off a bit. Oh, that sucks. Damn it. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. <laughs> one fucking flashlight. With one fucking battery. Oh. I guess I just have to run for that fucking thing. Oh, you fuck. No, you fucker. Oh, there's batteries there. Fuck. All right, so run there, pick up batteries. Since the movement in the woods ahead, facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice.
All right, great. So I fucking I handled that. Oh, for fuck's sakes, dude. Wow, while I was blind. Oh. This sucks. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's a light there. I think I just have to run for the light. Shit. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. If I can get to that light, then they'll just fuck off. I should get those batteries, though. No, you fuck up! Fucking goddamn it. Dude, I'm hitting sprint. Oh my god. Dude, sprint, asshole. Oh my god. Since the movement in the woods ahead, <sighs> facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. That's why I just say fuck it to the batteries. Both times I try to grab my end up on the fucking generator. Dude, like, I have to keep fucking dodging everything. Oh, shit. Mm, go, just go, just go. Dude, just go. Just... Motherfucker, dude. <sighs> this is so stupid. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no Because I can't, I can't kill them, and... Taking their, like, armor away or whatever it is doesn't do shit. Christ, go, go, go. Oh. Yeah, fuck you, assholes. Pieces of shit. That way. Oh. A car was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry. Caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Shuffle. <laughs> yeah, that that spot was not easy. Oh, heavy duty. Let's go. And we got batteries and a thermos. Anything in the tent? No. Anything in this tent? Probably not. Oh, okay. The car was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. What the f trying to deliver each page to the right time and place. I'm trying to show you how the story goes. 
Okay, and oh, thank you. I had seen glimpses of the light before. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. The dark presence at large. The dark presence followed the choreography laid out to it in the manuscript, growing stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next. But it was still bound to follow the story and chained to the dark place it came from. When the story reached the end it longed for, it would finally be free. Oh boy. Gotta look out for the traps. Pick it up! Jesus fucking Christ! Oh my god! The storm raged on as the Anderson brothers walked unsteadily away from the clinic with the other patients. Spam detected! Knowing that this time they wouldn't return. The darkness around them seethed with horrors, but Tor and Odin were unafraid. Their eyes glinted with guile. They knew every secret path, and there was blood on their hands. They had fought these shades before. Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. Thanks. The Taken are filled with darkness. Oh, more traps. For fuck's sakes. Oh my god, there's a lot more than I thought. I was like, wait a minute, what's that noise? <laughs> My fuck. Ah. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. What the fuck? Oh, it's light. Dude, go. Oh, my God. see the car but there was no sight of the driver hello hello anybody here ah! Barry ah! Ah! No! Danny, you're not! Ah! please ah! what are you what are you ah! no no 
I'll just take my time with that. Taking her filled with darkness? I thought it was Pop Tarts. <laughs> Some of this bad guy who, who wrote this crap anyway. Me. I've run through every possible course in my head. If I continue like the dark presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her and me and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. Oh, he died. Alice to get to me, dangle her in front of me and keep going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just Oh shit. Let me guess. Danny, huh? Who will help me? I'll make it happen. <laughs> Let me guess. Danny, huh? The front door was locked. And we'll just fucking go through here. Huh? Okay, there we go. Still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. Oh, what's in the basement? <laughs> oh. Nothing else down here, though, huh? Door is locked. Can't kick it in. That's illegal. All right, cool. Survived that. Time to take this dude's truck for a little joyride. <clears throat> well, we're coming, Barry. He was probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I made it this far myself. But Barry. Barry. It's true. Whoa, 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 hold up. Oops. <sighs> oh, my God. What the hell was that? Hmm. Oh, it's time, baby. It's time, baby. We got that Wheeler dealer. What's up, Wheeler? What's up, Wheelies? Oh, this is so much better with pumpkin pie, just so you know. Hope you're all doing swell. What the fuck is that? Jerry oh, potato. that's you reacting to you sucking classic. <laughs> you Sounds like me on toilet after bad Taco Bell. You, you mean Taco damage. Bell? That's fucking. Oh, you did. You did 50 damage. 
Yeah. Playing more Half-Life 2 you in comfort head. food? Nice. Nice. Just yeah, you've had a quite run of it of late. <laughs> that was the most potato watching thing the I've replay ever over done and over again, I didn't realize you were yelling at yourself <laughs> in the replay. Which <laughs> <laughs> is so funny. My mouth wide open. Most like, potato. <laughs> That's such a good <laughs> clip. I re I remember that clip. <laughs> I thought she was coming through C. Careful now. Going up. Go for it, go for it. Watch her, watch her. She's gotta push from there. Stay on it, stay on it, stay on it, stay on it! Yeah! Hide, wow. hide, hide! She's gonna shoot you. Lynch. <laughs> Oh, that was we have a new name for Chef Luca, Jeffrey Dahmer. Oh my God, Jeffrey <laughs> Dahmer. That was my fucking fault. I thought they were coming through C. That was ten thousand IQ right there. Why did I pick great. up that fucking op? <laughs> Welcome in everybody. Hope you had a grand old time with Wheeler playing some uh, Half Life Two. Solid fucking game. Um. We're playing the remaster of Alan Wake and things are getting real, real crazy. Ooh. Excuse me. How you doing, Alan Wake? I bounced off of this game. Um, I played the original uh, when it came out and I liked it. This one, I feel like I'm I'm enjoying it, but um, there's just this parts that I'm like, this is more difficult than what it used to be. Well, now I'm tired too. Sorry, Frantic. Uh, but I'm hoping to play the game and then play um, like the DLCs that came with it. Uh, and then there's the American Night, like Alan, Alan Wake's American Nightmare or whatever. We're gonna play that and then wrap it up with Alan Wake 2 whenever I get to that. All right, we covered everything here. I want this thing or the truck. I think this will have a better control. See a truck? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. Oh, what the fuck was that? A tree stump? Fuck. <laughs> oh fuck me oh fuck me fuck you fuck you Jesus Christ. All right. Oh, fuck. Not good. Not good. No, still not good. Right through the field. Uh, all right. Problem. Hay bale. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Fuck you. Playing Carmageddon, motherfucker. All right. So there's no way to squeak past that, apparently. Is there any other way around to? I don't really think there is another way. Uh, no. Jesus, it's a fucking bush. Let's relax a little bit. Yeah, they knocked that thing over. I think I have to go on foot here. <laughs> uh, let's try it. Ah, damn. Yeah, I think we're fucked. Plus this, uh, I think this truck's kind of had a time of it. <laughs> All right, we move forward. Oh, you're fucking kidding me, right? Oh shit, I'm not good. 
flashlight, motherfucker. Shut up. Checkpoint. Okay. Alright, so there's a drop point there. And okay. <laughs> Anything in this windmill? Can I get in here? No. Absolutely not. Uh, nothing around the side like a thermos. No. Whatever. Uh, oh. We got some yummies up in here. Saw that yellow paint. Flare gun and revolver ammo is nice. I'll take that. All right. Oh! Oh shit! Listen here, Jethro. Oh, he's pissed. Solves that problem. Ugh. Is this a firework? Holy shit, it is. I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars. Oh. Uh. I sunk in until I saw the stage. Yeah, this is a big fight, I'm pretty sure. Run! They're coming! There's too many of them! Ah! God damn! There's the dragon they were talking about. That was sick. I'm so glad you decided to go it alone, Mr. Monson. Bitch! Open the fucking thing, dude. Dude, I'm trying. Here we go. Oh, nice. Oh! 
Oh, fuck! You ain't got shit, dog. Oh, fuck's sakes, my nose is itchy. No! Yeah, get some health. Thank you. Fucker. Yes. Damn. Falls, rock and roll capital of America. I didn't miss any other ammo around here, did I? The flashlight I don't need. And what about back here? Anything fun? Ooh. All right, Barry. Let's uh, let's get out of here. I guess. Yeah, I got it. Let's go. Oh, not that way. Oh. Hi, Barry. See, bestseller? No reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. Ugh. Come back for it once we have the place secured. Jesus. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. Alright. Easy. You gotta go up there. Use that thing to buck open that thing. And... See anything out here? Okay. Let's do it. Barry something acting like he's at a theme park. Yeah. <laughs> For real. He was loving it too much. Hey, I think Alan Wake here has something to say. Uh, what's that, Al? Ooh, I'm Alan Wake. I'm always right about everything. And if I don't get my way, I'll solve all day long. I'm always intense and Moody. It makes me very attractive and mysterious. Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah, it was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> All right, let's go. Wow. <laughs> you look at that thing, Al. They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Oh, yeah. Well, fucking boat and everything. All this stuff. They must have done okay for themselves. So how come I never heard of these guys? Oh, whoops. We all spend a third of our dreams in this soft embrace. In Night Springs. Eh, 
think we cleared all this out. Uh, but let me check upstairs. Just to make sure. Oh. Let's see one of these in a minute. Anderson Brothers in the 70s. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the heaviest ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field, naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. Oh, I see. Give me one minute. 1975 Ragnarok tour. The old gods of Asgard, be awed by celestial wrath and fury. Seattle, Washington, Bakersfield, California, Long Beach, California, all the way to New York City, New York in three days, damn. New York, New Jersey, Detroit, Michigan, Jacksonville, Florida, Tampa, Florida, New Orleans, Louisiana, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Shh. No fucking Boston dates? What the fuck? I mean, not that I was alive for it anyways, but... <laughs> Boom. And batteries. Oh, fuck me. Oh, my God. Whoa. Oh, fuck me. Where's that TV? Oh, there it is. And then more revolver ammo. Sick. Let's go. Oh, lordy. Oh, we're going to play this game, are we? Hello? I hit fucking shoot before he even did that. Okay. That's cool. Jesus Christ. Oh, I can't just drop down there, huh? Fuck. Alright, fuck it. I'm just gonna sit back here and let you just funnel up to me, I guess. Jesus Christ, okay. <sighs> that one actually went better than the previous time, so now, let's switch to the flare gun so it's ready.
I missed, apparently. That one didn't miss. See a dickhead. I think we can make it through here, Al. Where the fuck did he say that? Oh, he's up there. Ding dong. Let's watch out for the swinging fucking electric wires of doom. Okay, golden. Oh my fuck! You know what? Fuck you. Jesus Christ. Let's just stay over here. Watch this dude that's gonna pop up right here. Should I miss anything? Oh, fuck's sakes. Not a fan of that fucking bug. It's so stupid. Oh, hold up. Oh, uh, yep. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. The door was barred from the other side. I'd have to find another way. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm gonna take a closer look at this stuff. Yeah, you do that, bud. Be careful, Al! Thanks. Oh my lordy, lordy, lordy! I'm good. Keep your eyes open, okay? I'm doing just fucking fine, Barry. Thanks. Another level up. What is that noise? I'm all the way at the top. There's nothing to. Oh, okay. Oh. Started that shit up. I 
could see the building that had to be the Andersons' home on the other side of the field. It wasn't oh. far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned-out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. They had the goods. Okay, it's a little aggressive. Now let's see. Wait, is there anything on the other side over here? Uh, there must not be. Okay, nothing shiny at least. Oh shit, it's already past one. I completely lost track of time. <laughs> Yeah, what? Jesus fucking Christ. One dude. Yeah, okay. That was a lot easier than I thought. That's why I keep those flare guns around, I'm telling you. Right, it's already reloaded too. Good. All right. Nice emergency box of all sorts of shit except for <laughs> and batteries, which again I don't need. Huh, okay. Oh, this dude like broke it open over here, didn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, thought I saw something. Cool, up to the roof. And over this way, good. Hmm. Open the silo door for Barry. Uh, Al? Is that you out there, buddy? I had to find a key to get Barry out. Yeah, it's me. Hang on. I'll try to find a key to get the door open. Hey, what's the hold up? Come on, this place is all dusty. You know I got my allergies. Oh my god. Bro, I feel you, but calm down. Let's go, Barry. Hey, let's go, man. It's the Anderson house? Okay. Can we fucking open it from this side? I think we're gonna have to work together to open this gate, Al. Looks pretty heavy. Ah! Hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're almost there. Hey! The farm is a crazy no kidding. Place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. Ah, Valhalla. We've made it. Come on, one more gate. Do this thing. Uh oh. Old gods know the truth. Get out of my way! There's no fuse box upstairs. I would not anticipate that at least. Check every little nook and cranny that we can. Aha! Another thermos.
<laughs> Exam downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. Oh, so it's downstairs. This thing says find the fuse box and goes upstairs. I mean, I also don't see a downstairs stairs. You know, this place looks kind of lived in. I thought the gods know the truth. Yeah, fucking working on it, dickhead. That's a sick guitar. Uh, mystery of the missing week. Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. Dun dun dun! Okay. Aha! course we need to find where it's coming from that's the message the anderson's talking about that's the whole reason we're here lady of the light oh that's gotta be what's your face the crazy lamb lady from the <coughs> town cynthia weaver mm -hmm. must be Okay. We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? Not a good idea. I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And oh, they have a fire, so it's light, I guess. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off of those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. See in the light. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. Oops. <laughs> Fucking dummy. <laughs> it's how much longer to the end of this fucking episode? Ah, uh, the out of body experience. It's gonna show us the truth. It was a crazy drunken dream, and yet it was more than that. It was the truth, a suppressed memory unearthed by the Anderson's moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer, this was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls. The night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance Alice? to find out Alice. what had happened. 
I remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. I remembered thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. Dove in, yeah. Running after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. Beyond this lost memory, there was nothing. I had to follow the footsteps of my past self to find out what had happened that night. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Hurry up, past Alan. Alice. Jagger had Alice, Alice. and so she had me. An easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is Ooh. there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. Hmm. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me, made me her puppet. She must be here somewhere, maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You laugh at the whole thing together and put it Alice? behind you. She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed her. Ah! Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Hmm. Yes. I'll write. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. Oh, fuck me. No, I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish, to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It isn't here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. We'll know I'm here. It will be back soon. It stole the skin of my barber a long time ago. She looks so old. I had woken up, confused and groggy. My mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. Barbara. Barbara. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. 
No wonder he crashed the fucking car. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. Just like that. I wrote it. It's my fault. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Fuck. <laughs> he found us. Oh, what a cliffhanger to end on for tonight. There's an old. Uh. All right, that's where we're gonna end it. Okay. Whew. There's something else. All right, so that wraps it up for Alan Week tonight. It seems like we're getting pretty close to the end. I don't know how many episodes are in it. Uh. Oh, baby. <sighs> episodes in Alan Wake Remastered. Six episodes. We just finished what? Four? Just curious if they have them listed out here. Oh yeah, we just finished episode four, The Truth. So yeah, we'll probably get one more stream out of this then next week. So we have we did Nightmare and Taken episodes one and two. Then we did Ransom and the Truth three and four tonight. And then was just five and six, which is the clicker and departure. And then there's also the DLC episodes, which is the signal and the writer. So there's two of those. <clears throat> cool. All right, let's see who we're going to raid out to tonight. Okay. <clears throat> we have Gothies on playing One's Human, Doom's on playing Helldivers 2, Diablo's playing Final Fantasy. Fuck you, look Sorry. hot. Thanks. I'm cold. Ha, hell, yeah. Uh, Days and Days playing Valorant. Uh, Gigi's playing a Once Human. Grumpy Boy's playing Elden Ring. Heavy, how are you, sir? Oh. Not stoned enough? I'll help you out with that in a bit. Um... Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, we haven't rated GG in a minute. GG grotesque. Let me just get through his ad, the ad here. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's in character tonight, which is too bad, but he's still a good peeps. Uh, he's playing once human, uh, which I haven't like seen any Gameplay of propagation. Yeah, I'll meet you there. So yeah, I don't know who's played once human, um, but if it's, I mean, it looks interesting. It's like a crafter, I think, or something. Oh, keyboard cat warning. Oh boy, play with me. I haven't started it yet. I mean, I don't have it. <laughs> there it is. It's free? Wow. Um, oh, drops are enabled on the channel too, apparently. So that's cool. Nice. All right, let me uh, wrap us up here. So here comes the raid messages and some you know social media links. 
That top one, which is also pasted at the bottom, is for all the subscribers. Uh, everyone else can use the thing that says raid with the red pickaxe. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, and uh, if you want to be super, super cool and helpful, um, if you haven't subscribed or followed to or whatever the terms are on these other platforms, like the free thing, uh, please do so. We're trying to grow and make the jug mod bigger. Uh, so on YouTube, we post VODs Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, we also post a short on Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, if you prefer the short form content over on TikTok, then we're also on TikTok. Same thing, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, Twitter, you know what that is. Come on by. Uh, and Discord is our home away from home. We hang out. We watch wrestling. We watch the movies. Um, Question of the day bot memes. Uh, obviously, and then obviously with like feedback areas for stream and recommending games that we should be playing, answering polls, so on and so forth. So if you're not part of that Discord, come join up. We have like 191 people in there trying to hit 200. So come come hang. Sounds like sleepy time, Jug. Oh, thank you for the bitty shuffle. <laughs> that is a nice little seepy, seepy puppy with dragon wings. So I have a good night as well. I appreciate you. Um, yeah, let's kick this, uh, this raid off to our dear friend, GG Grotesque. Oh, uh, like I mentioned, I don't have a, uh, I don't have a schedule yet, but I will have a schedule, uh, probably tomorrow. Mm. Excuse me. Uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, I'm pretty sure it should work just fine. Uh, so it should be a regular summer week. Um, I think that's really all I got. Stop it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think there's really nothing else to talk about here. So I'm just going to kick this over to GG Grotesque again. Uh, playing once human. Uh, if you dig the content, drop him a follow. If you don't, that's okay. You don't have to drop a follow or anything like that. You can just you know, leave and go to sleep or whatever. What the fuck? That was loud. Thanks, Meg. Jesus Christ. All right, I'm going to hit before anyone else yells at me. <laughs> going with Gigi. I'll catch you all on Tuesday night. Probably more indie horror. Uh, until then, be well. Goodbye.